safety is the most important consideration in any shop. For no tool, no job, no product is as important as the safety of the craftsman. Safety begins with the individual. You can help avoid accidents and safeguard your own safety by wearing the proper clothing. Your clothes should be close fitting. A necktie can get caught in a power tool or other machinery. Either wear a bow tie or remove your tie before starting to work. Floppy sleeves present the same safety hazard. Either wear short sleeves or roll your sleeves above your elbows. Remove all wristwatches, rings, and other jewelry which can catch on something and cause an accident. A shop apron protects you as well as your clothing. It shields your clothing from becoming entangled in some piece of equipment. But beware of shop aprons with loose pencil pockets on the bib. Gloves are essential in many operations and should be kept handy for all. The same is true of other protective items such as goggles or a grinding shield, which should be used when grinding tools. And a shield to protect your eyes and face when welding. Proper clothing, including protective clothing for certain operations, should always be worn. There are no exceptions. Your safety is at stake. No individual is any safer than the shop in which he works. Workbenches and equipment should be spaced so as to leave room for wide, clear aisles. Working areas should be marked out around all power tools, and only the operator should be allowed in that area when the tool is in use. The floors should be kept clean. The aisles and other walking spaces especially should not be slippery or cluttered. Frequent sweeping is a good safety practice. Non-skid paints are available for painting the floor around machinery. Wipe up any spilled grease or oil immediately and remove any debris or obstacles. For safety and convenience, lumber should be placed in racks or stacked neatly in piles. Use the overlap or tie-in method to be sure the stack is solid and will not fall. Other items which should not be left cluttering the aisles are oily rags and containers of inflammable liquids. In addition to the traffic hazard they present, these items are also fire hazards. Oily rags should be kept in closed metal containers at all times except when they are in use. Inflammable liquids such as paint thinner, varnishes, and other finishing materials should also be kept in closed metal containers and should be stored, if possible, in a fireproof metal cabinet. Welding gases are highly inflammable. Cylinders containing such gases should be stored in racks. This will prevent them from toppling over. The connection should be inspected frequently for leaks. Thick soap suds make a good material to test with. Fires may also be caused by defective electrical wiring. All electrical connections and load limits should be checked carefully. Such precautions aid in preventing dangerous fires. Fire extinguishers should be handy and in plain view in case a fire should start. Everyone who works in the shop should be familiar with the location and operation of all fire extinguishers. First aid kits too should be handy and in plain view so that any injury can be given at least preliminary treatment without delay. Proper care and use of shop tools will reduce the possibility of accidents. Sharp pointed tools should never be left projecting from benches where someone could bump into them. Chisels are among the most dangerous hand tools. Keep them sharp, but handle them with care.
When using a chisel, always chisel away from the body. Keep both hands on the chisel except when pounding with the mallet. Always keep your fingers out of the way when using any sharp tool, such as a chisel or screwdriver. Always carry sharp pointed tools in your hand with the point down. Never carry a chisel in your pocket. Carry only as many as you can handle with safety. Chisels should be stored with the sharp edge concealed. The same is true of other sharp instruments such as saws. Blunt tools such as hammers can be dangerous too. Always inspect a hammer before using it. Make sure the handle is not cracked or loose. Check to see that the head is not mushroomed or dirty. Grease or dirt on the head of the hammer can cause the hammer to slip off the nail and hit your finger. When hammering, keep your thumb out of the way. Carelessness is one of the primary causes of accidents while hammering. Never put nails or screws in your mouth. A sharp saw is less dangerous for starting a cut than a dull one. It will bite in and will not walk. The teeth of a saw can cause a painful and serious injury. Be especially careful in starting a saw cut that the saw does not jump out of the kerf. Before using any piece of electrical equipment, make sure that your hands are not moist and that you are not standing on a wet floor. If the equipment is of the type which has a third or ground wire, you should be certain that this wire is properly grounded. No one should use a power tool who has not been properly instructed in its use. When using a circular power saw, use a push stick between the blade and the rip fence so that your finger will not get caught in the blade. If you are going to cross cut, remove the rip fence and use the cross cut guide. Otherwise, a piece of wood might get caught between the blade and the rip fence and kick back in your direction. Always operate the circular power saw from the left to avoid injury in case a kickback does occur. A jointer should be properly adjusted before it is started. Here a push block should be used for surface or face joining. You should never allow another person to enter the work area around a power tool you are operating. And you yourself should never violate the working area around a power tool or speak to anyone while you are operating a power tool. Only the operator should be permitted within the area while the tool is in operation. The machine should be located in a position where the operator cannot be distracted. Working in a shop is fun, but a shop is never a place for horseplay. Shoving, pushing, throwing tools or scrap lumber are sure ways of causing avoidable accidents. Only by keeping your mind on your job, by staying constantly on the alert, can you avoid accidents. Any unnecessary distraction creates a needless risk for you and the others in the shop. In many industrial shops, the safety record is posted and regarded with pride by all those who have contributed to the prevention of accidents. The workers in such shops not only know the rules of safety, but adhere closely to these rules. They know that it's smart to be safe. They wear the proper clothing when they work. They protect themselves by wearing protective gear when it is needed. And they keep their clothing in good condition, never wearing anything which is ragged or torn and might get caught in machinery. The workers in a shop which prides itself on a good safety record keep their shop clean. 
Oily rags are kept in metal containers. Inflammable liquids are kept in closed containers and stored in fireproof cabinets. Bottled gases are stored in racks so that they cannot fall over. Lumber, too, is neatly and firmly stacked. Electrical connections are inspected regularly. Everyone in the shop is familiar with the location and operation of the fire extinguishers and the first aid kits, which are also kept handy and in plain view. Tools are stored carefully and safely. The tools are inspected thoroughly before they are used. And all equipment is used properly. Safety in the shop requires day-by-day -day attention to the prevention of accidents. Protect yourself at all times. Nothing is more important than your own safety and the safety of those who work with you.